welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He say Justice Benta Yanko of the Federal High Court warned Buhari that the Fulani Nigerian government cannot punish her by jailing her husband and son because they are going to lose the case they have against Mazen Namdekano at her court. And she said so because a legal giant that she dreaded most has just joined Mazen Namdekano's legal team. Abubakar Malami cries out that Mazen Namdekano's legal team have dealt so much with the Fulani Nigerian government lawyers. And now they have added another lawyer who happens to be a legal giant whom they did all manner of things to stop, but he refused and joined Mazin and the Kano's legal team. Frustrated Malami lamented that Mazin and the Kano's legal team have not only disgraced him as the Attorney General of Nigeria, but the entire Fulani Presidency Cabal. Because all of them in the Presidency Cabal have been mandated to bring down Mazen Nantegano to do whatever they can to stop Mazen Nantegano's unconditional release. That was a mandate given to them by the Fulani Caliphate. That is why Gal Bashewu, Femi Adeshino, and other Fulani Janjaweed, Lai Muhammad, they are all running Eta Sketa, shopping around, you know, telling falsehood, lies, looking for ways to stop Mazen and the Kanos unconditional release because they claim it will lead to Biafran referendum because the moment Mazin Namdekano is released unconditionally, the United Nations will come in and organize Biafran referendum and eventually Biafra will be restored. Buhari threatened to sack Abubakar Malami for his failure to win the legal giant over to the Fulani government side. Despite all the money that was made available to Abubakar Malami and the ones at his disposal, Buhari, his Fulani Nigerian government, and Justice Ben Tayanko have not seen anything yet. They thought that stopping IPOB's American attorney Bruce Fain from attending the proceedings at the Federal High Court Abuja would help the Fulani Nigerian government keep Mazin Namdekano in illegal detention for as long as they want. Now they have seen a legal giant that have shaken the whole foundation of Asso Rock. You know, the full of the Nigerian government had tried in vain to stop the legal giant joining Mazen and the Kano's legal team and is the one that will lead the legal team now. They tried to intimidate and assassinate him, but they failed because he refused their bribes, contracts, and appointments. Even the full and Nigerian government lawyers are protesting against the new legal giants joining Mazin Namdekano's legal team. 
They complain that they haven't been able to face Barrister Ifan Yejiofo and Barrister Aloy Ejimako and the rest of Mazen and the Kano's legal team. And now they have added a senior attorney, every lawyer and judge dreaded most. And they said that it is not fair to them because there's no level playing ground anymore. Because there's no doubt about it that they will be disgraced at the courts and no one will hire them again. And that is why the full and Nigerian government lawyers are crying. They don't want to be out of job because the moment they get disgraced, that will be the end for them. After all, they have never won any case. They have been losing all their cases since they came into power in 12, 2015. According to report by the star Ifan for the lead counsel to our great leader, Mazen Amdekano, have said that an undisclosed senior attorney will henceforth lay the defense team of Mazen Namdekano at the Federal High Court Abuja. Barrister Geofo revealed that a visit to Mazen Namdekano in detention at the criminal DSS facility on Monday was described as a surprise Christmas present with the inclusion of the lawyer he called a legal giant, a consummate member of the inner bar, a legal Iroko who have distinguished himself in the practice of law. A Geofor decided not to reveal the identity of the new lawyer who would be in the front line of Mazen Namdekano's legal battle against the terrorist Fulani Nigerian government, noting that he have opted to desist from publicizing, you know, their legal exploit for certain statutory reasons. It has also become necessary that the legal team of Mazen and the Kanu show such restraint because of the presence of moles, traitors who have infiltrated and literally taking over the social media space. According to Barrister Geoffo, he said that the learned senior counsel is an excellent and a consummate learned gentleman, distinguished in academics and in the practice of law in the law courts in Nigeria. The reason that Inform this arrangement is Barrister Geoffrey's unflinching desire to throw in every weapon into the arsenal to ensure that Onyendo gets the best at all times. This latest master stroke, evident in the legal giant that has intervened came to Onyendo as a big surprise, although he was not oblivious of any, or any of my, uh, the legal team's arrangements to enlist the assistance and cooperation of a senior attorney. He did not know that Paris de Geoffroy and his legal team could get a senior attorney of the rarest breed. Mazen Namdekano was particularly delighted to welcome this legal giant, a consummate member of the inner bar, a legal Iroko who had distinguished himself in the practice of law when he visited Mazen Namdekano yesterday. My brothers and my sisters, the senior attorney, according to Barrister Jofo, has been his mentor over the years. The senior attorney had walked from the sideline 
with Mazen Namdekanu legal team since 2016. He is a man imbibed with profound intellect and legal sophistry, an infectious sense of history, much like Onyendo Mazen Namdekanu, and of impeccable character. His brilliance radiates effortlessly. He is indeed an excellent advocate. The stage which Mazen Namdekanu's legal team have attained in the court gymnastics involving Mazen Namdekanu's signpost, an auspicious time at which to introduce the leading and erudite member of the inner bar to Mazen Namdekanu's defense team. Henceforth, the senior attorney will lead Mazen Namdekanu's defense team in proceeding in court. The Fulani Janjaweed are in trouble. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.